It's good to see you all here on Friday afternoon at a busy time of year, and I think it'll be a very interesting afternoon, so I want to also second Jessica in saying thank you uh, for coming. I also want to uh, say greetings from Dean Boer. Uh, she's over the Pacific, actually, right now. Sometimes she's coming back from New Zealand on her way back, but she sends greetings, and happy to see us all uh, here this afternoon convened. Um, and she really especially wants to um, give greetings to uh, all of this uh, TCI, Tata Cornell uh, Institute community now, which seems to be growing by leaps and bounds. Uh, I've been fascinated by that. So we have our administrative staff, we have our, our leaders, Prabhu, Matthew, uh, Bhaskar is in India, of course, uh, administrative staff, Mary Catherine, Jessica, uh, let's see, and, and I'm, I'm losing names now because I, I think it's uh, growing from time to time, so sorry about that. I have to have my notes here, but uh, uh, greetings to all of you. Then there's a growing research staff, which I learned about on the web, which is uh, impressive with some of the initiatives that are expanding throughout in India. The Tata Cornell Scholars, and how many of those do we have here? Several of you are here, welcome. That's really wonderful to see you here. And we, I want to talk about that just a little bit more. And then there's a growing number of uh, TCI uh, affiliates, faculty affiliates, which is a wonderful thing. And so there's uh, a great leaps and bounds that the program has been growing lately. Um, so I think that Mr. Tata and the Tata Trusts who have provided the basic funding for this will be very excited uh, to know how this initiative is developing and growing and uh, would be very happy. So congratulations to the whole t uh, TCI community. I'm really uh, thrilled to hear about all the stuff that you're doing. TCI is really important for CALS and Cornell. You know, we have this long history of working internationally. Uh, we have uh, not only that tradition, but this is part of our, our mission, uh, you know, our mission of creating and disseminating knowledge for the public good. And we're interested in doing that everywhere in the world. And TCI is front and center uh, in doing this. Now, think about India projected to be uh, the country with the largest population in the world by 2050. What better place could there be to focus these efforts? Uh, you know, it sounds trite to talk about this. It sounds trite to talk about climate change now, an expanding population a depleting resource base, continued urbanization, all these things that cause uh, problems uh, and challenges for food and nutrition being provided to these growing, burgeoning populations. I say it's trite to talk about because we talk about it all the time, but it's so profound it bears uh, repeating. And so TCI is uh, focused in that area uh, in India, and I think it has an opportunity to make great, great uh, contributions. Now, one of the things that I think is really important for us to acknowledge is the growing community that's coming together uh, around TCI and its initiatives, and how that's related to some of the efforts that we're doing here on campus. Uh, for the last few years, you may have heard a little bit about this, is the kind of idea of inter internationalizing the curriculum, right? Giving students more direct experience of, with uh, international affairs, uh, bringing more international visitors here and so forth. And TCI is doing this in leaps and bounds. Uh, we have Indian students coming here to Cornell, which we're really ha happy about. Uh, you know, that, that internationalizes our campus. It's very important. We have Cornell students from all over the world going to India, learning about India, learning about the substantive problems that are faced there. We have uh, visiting scholars uh, coming here. You've had did you have four in the last year? Four from you know, major research institutions uh, around the world. Uh, then you know, Prabhu's been involved in this global classroom, this remote teaching exercise that involves China, India, and Cornell. Uh, so that's another way of internationalizing uh, the curriculum. And then right now, I mentioned the Tata Cornell scholars. You have had 15 of those all together, and the number keeps growing. So this is really uh, something that's uh, very important. Now this growing community that uh, TCI has developed, I think has a number of impacts. Uh, there's a few that I'd like to mention. Uh, one of the things is, and I think we'll hear more about this this afternoon, is about the number of publications. And so this is kind of in the scholarly venues. There's a very active publication program going on here that's very important. Uh, 
probably will have the recently published book on agriculture and rural development that uh, we should take a look at. Maybe you'll talk about that this afternoon. I don't know. Um, the other thing that I think is really important about TCI is building partnerships and capacity building. And this is really important, building not only the linkages between different institutions, but also the capacity of those institutions to deliver on you know, rural development in some important ways. Uh, so I think one of the things that's really important and that we heard about, is it two years ago or one year ago now, the Tarina Initiative that got, got started, and I always forget what Tarina is, Technical Assistance and Research for Indian Nutrition and Agriculture, Tarina. And so that's funded by a grant from the Gates Foundation, uh, this has been a great uh, asset for the, for the TCI uh, uh, group, and I think it's really wonderful. And then finally, I'll say one other thing about this expanding uh, community and this expanding impact is the TCI has been working in six states in India. Uh, next year, probably we'll expand at least to two more states, so there's a broad expanding uh, geographic impact as well. So if we think about this, this is the TCI initiative has been underway for about four years now, is it? Four years. Uh, I think it's made great leaps and bounds. Uh, this afternoon, we're gonna hear about some of the great accomplishments that have happened in the past year. Uh, but we'll hopefully also get a glimpse of what's, what's in store for the future. And I think there's gonna be a lot of great accomplishments that we're gonna hear about in years to come. So with that, welcome. I'm so happy to see everybody here this afternoon. I'm really interested to hear about the rest of the things on the program. So thank you very much.